Hello, we are here today to see if you can pass the U.S. Citizenship Test, 2008 version. The citizenship test is made up of two components. The English test includes reading, writing, and speaking. And the civics test, to test your knowledge of American history and politics. So in this video, we will ask you 10 civics questions. Three English reading sentences. Three English writing sentences. And 10 vocabularies from the N-400 application form. Let's start with the civics test. First, I will only ask you 10 questions without providing you the answers. Then I will repeat the questions and provide the correct answers. You need to get at least six answers correct to pass this portion of the test. First question. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Name one state that borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Mexico. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? What are the two major political parties in the United States? What are the two major political parties in the United States? Now, let's check your answers. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. The vice president. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. The Senate and House. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. California. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. July 4, 1776. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts? John Roberts? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. 
Visit Senate.gov to find your state's U.S. Senators. The link in the description below. For example, open Senate.gov, then click on Senators, States, then choose your state. For example, I will choose California. Here is showing Senators of California. Last question, what are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Democratic and Republican. Did you get at least six of the questions correct? If so, congratulations you passed the civics test portion of the U.S. citizenship interview. Now, let's do the English reading and writing test. For the reading test, the immigration officer will ask you to read up to three sentences. And you must read out loud one out of three sentences correctly to pass. And for the writing portion, the officer will read up to three sentences aloud and ask you to write it on the tablet. You must write one sentence correctly to pass. Let's start with the first sentence. Please read the sentence on the tablet in front of you. Please write this sentence. New York City was the first capital of the United States. New York City was the first capital of the United States. Second sentence. Please read this sentence. Please write this sentence. The United States has 50 states. The United States has 50 states. Now, the third sentence. Please read this sentence. Please write this sentence. Delaware was one of the first states of the United States. Delaware was one of the first states of the United States. Now, let's check your answers. First sentence. Please read this sentence. Now I am going to read it and listen carefully. What city was the first capital of the United States? Please write this sentence. New York City was the first capital of the United States. Second sentence. Please read this sentence. How many states does the United States have? Please write this sentence. The United States has 50 states. Now, the third sentence. Please read this sentence. What was one of the first states in the United States? Please write this sentence. Delaware was one of the first states of the United States. Did you read and write at least one sentence correctly? If so, congratulations you passed the English reading and writing test of the U.S. Citizenship Interview. Now I'm going to ask you 10 words from the N-400 application. Remember, some immigration officers might ask you to explain the meaning of some of the words from your N-400 application form. This is to make sure you understand what you filled out and to test your ability to understand and speak English. Let's start with first word. What does claim mean? Claim. To state something without proof. To state something without proof. Do you know what terrorist means? Terrorist, a person who uses violence for political or religious purposes. A person who uses violence for political or religious purposes. Do you know what crime means? Crime, 
An action that breaks the law. An action that breaks the law. Do you know what cited means? Cited, given a ticket by the police. Given a ticket by the police. Do you know what habitual drunkard mean? Habitual drunkard. Someone drinks too much alcohol regularly. Someone drinks too much alcohol regularly. Do you know what mislead someone mean? Mislead someone. Believe something that is not true. Believe something that is not true. Do you know what Oath of Allegiance to the United States means? Oath of Allegiance to the United States. A promise to be loyal to the United States. A promise to be loyal to the United States. Do you know what immigration benefit means? Immigration benefit. Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Do you know what non-combatant services means? Non-combatant services. Services that do not engage in fighting during a war, such as nursing and translation. Services that do not engage in fighting during a war, such as nursing and translation. Do you know what work of national importance mean? Work of national importance, tasks that are important to a nation during a crisis. Tasks that are important to a nation during a crisis. Comment or like below if you passed the U.S. citizenship interview in this video. And good luck on your U.S. citizenship interview.